हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो नाउ विल बी सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन नंबर 36 फ्रॉम कोड डी ऑफ द फिजिक्स सेक्शन ऑफ जेई मेन 2017 इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव बीन गिवन दैट सीपी एंड सीवी आर द स्पेसिफिक हीट एट कांस्टेंट टेंप एट कांस्टेंट प्रेशर एंड कांस्टेंट वैल्यू रेस्पेक्टिवली आल्सो वी हैव बीन गिवन दैट सीपी माइनस सीवी इज इक्वल्स टू ए फॉर हाइड्रोजन गैस एंड सीपी माइनस सीवी इज इक्वल्स टू बी फॉर नाइट्रोजन गैस now we have to find out what's the correct relationship between a and b the formula that we are going to use for this particular solution is that cp minus cv is equals to r by j the most common mistake that we do as and when you are solving this type of questions is that we take cp minus cv is equals to r and not and we miss out on this term j because this is what we have been doing in order to solve the questions that have previously been coming related to such topics one thing that we tend to forget is cp minus cv is equals to r is generally what we follow because the gas in consideration for that particular question is a single gas and the gas is not changed there in this question they have been given two different gases and that was a trick behind this question so there was hydrogen gas and there was nitrogen gas so cp minus cv equals to r by j where j here represents the molar mass or the molecular mass so here it would be molecular mass So now this question now becomes fairly simple. So CP minus CV is equals to R by J in case of hydrogen. If I try to solve for hydrogen, it will be two, and which is nothing but equals to A. Now for nitrogen, that is N two, my CP minus CV would be equals to R by twenty eight, which is nothing but equals to B. Now on on solving this, you'll find out that my A is nothing but equals to fourteen B. and hence this was the answer so the trick that must be remembered over here is that cp minus cv is equals to r is valid as well as as long as there is only one gas which is which is under consideration and one gas which is under focus as the gases change as there are two gases involved in a particular question we must go with the formula cp minus cv equals to r by j so i hope you were able to understand this question and understand the solution and i hope that you liked it so in case if you have liked our video please subscribe to our channel and please hang on to it because we'll be uploading the upcoming video solutions very soon